I'm Bridget Greenberg, and if my last name wasn't enough of a hint, yes, I am Jewish. And I'm here as a member of the tribe to discuss one of Steven Spielberg's best cinematic tributes to our culture, an American tale. It's a story of hope, family, and light stereotyping that gave generations of young Jewish Americans insight into our history and made us believe in an America where the streets were paved with cheese. And the streets are paved with cheese. The latter of which, I'll admit, is a bad lesson, but it's important to learn some things the hard way. Obviously, I have my biases, but American Tale is a modern masterpiece that everyone can appreciate. Unless you don't find this guy cute, and then you're just a monster, and I can't help you. But for you non-monsters, stick with me, and I promise it will be as educational as it will be fun. I'm not making an easy sell. Our setting is in 1885 Russia. Presumably, it's pretty much the same as present-day Russia, just slightly less cybercrime. The Russian government launched a series of pogroms, which were state-sponsored attacks on Jewish villages across Russia. They started in the early 1800s when a misconception spread that Jews were responsible for the assassination of Tsar Alexander II, which is the kind of mix-up that happens all the time. Anyway, making up a major portion of the Russian army were a rugged group of settlers known as the Cossacks, and known to the characters of American Tale as the Cat Sex. Throughout the late 1800s and into the 1900s, there were three major pogroms, which led to roughly 2.5 million Jews leaving the country between 1881 and 1914, a percentage of whom managed to make it to the U.S. of A. And in that percentage were the Mauskowitzes and the Greenbergs. That's my grandpa. The point being, this movie is incredibly historically accurate, especially for one about a singing mouse that illegally gets into the United States via bottle. Knowing your history is important, obviously. But the people who live through it don't always want to talk about it because, and they only touched on this lightly in the history books, the past f***ing sucked. Sure, rent was probably cheaper back then, but also polio. Rehashing the past can be understandably tough for older generations. So having movies where kids can learn about their past and their culture is helpful. Especially if your movies and shows tend to fall on one of two ends of a spectrum. We don't have a lot of stuff for kids. Maybe a couple special episodes of The Rugrats, but those felt like kind of a reach. When the Moskowitz family finally reaches America, they quickly discover the dream they were sold of an oppression-free America is not exactly reality. There are no cats in America. There are cats in America, in fact. There are cats all over it. They've been following me at night. Like millions of other immigrants, the Moskowitzes were quickly disillusioned. But did that stop them? You bet your tiny cartoon mouse ass it did not. They refused to be chased out of America where they were promised freedom. And instead of retreating, they band together with immigrant mice all across New York to stage a demonstration to let the cats know they have a place here too, and they are not giving it up so easily. And leading the charge is a mouse named Bridget. There's no point there, that's just a fun coincidence. This isn't just a glimpse into Jewish history and culture. It's a story about communities coming together to fight to make America a place where we all belong. It's a happy ending for a real sad movie. Definitely the saddest cartoon mouse movie. 17th, if we're just ranking movies in general. It goes the opening montage from Up, Secret Garden, and then Jack Frost, and then you go into your dog movies, your old yellers, your Marley and Me's, your My Dog Skips, Air Bud, Read Between the Lines, Radio. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching that video. Be sure to click the big C in the middle to subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notifications every time we have more videos. Uh, and in the comments, Try not to be anti-Semitic or otherwise racist. No one wants to read it.